you can fill your cup with whatever you want. But before you do that, remember, whatever is already in the cup needs to be dumped out. Hey, it's Heather Chauvin, wife, mother of three boys, former social worker, breadwinner, recovering hustler, and stage four cancer survivor. I'm not a fan of that term, by the way. Beyond all of these titles and labels, I'm a human being, just like you, attempting to navigate it all while feeling good. My goal on this podcast is to show you that you can live an energized, sustainable life, both at home and in your work. It doesn't matter if you stay at home full time, if you work from home, you're a CEO, a a successful business owner, or trying to find some inspiration. On this show, I attempt to keep it real with stories, interviews, and random thoughts. This is not a business or career podcast, and it's not a parenting podcast. It's both and so much more. You will laugh. You may even cry. And... You may even get a little frustrated with the truth you've been hiding from yourself. I believe all human behavior is a language, whether it's through your child's behavior, your health, or a relationship. And when we learn to listen instead of react, we begin to understand what it truly means to feel alive and in control. It's time to put your big girl pants on and find your brave. Let's go. Okay, ladies, I'm back, and today I want to tell you a quick story about something that um, actually came up in a conversation that I was having with a client today. She is a very successful woman, working, owns a construction company, and of course, there comes a lot of responsibility with that, and all the women that I attract that work with me um, often, you know, want to create this ease and sustainability and doing that from the inside out. But how do we do that? So I challenged her. I challenged her to have this bi-weekly date with herself. And it, it didn't seem realistic. It wasn't logical. And she was going to the beach every other week on a Wednesday morning, a Wednesday morning, midweek. You know, as the week goes, it gets busier and busier. It gets fuller and fuller, right? So here she is midweek, she puts this cal- this on her calendar, and she actually changed the name of the appointment. She, she didn't write going to the beach, she actually put that she had a different appointment because a lot of people see her calendar. So she created the space, and here she is going to the beach before she goes into work. Why would somebody do this? Why would you do this? Because your mind is going to tell you, I don't have time, I have so much to do, I don't have time, I have so much to do. And everything that I teach is all about alignment. It's alignment. Are the actions that you're taking on a daily, weekly, moment by moment basis in alignment with how you want to feel? Are they getting you closer or further away to the life that you desire? You answer that question. So here she is saying, oh man, I'm like, what do you, what do you want? What do you crave? I just, I I love water. I want to be closer to water. So her body is telling her exactly what she needs to feel alive. Her body is telling her exactly what she needs to thrive and feel energized and more focused and herself. So she goes to the beach and it took a few weeks, a few times going consistently. And here she is at the beach feeling afraid, feeling anxious, feeling overwhelmed Feeling not enough. I have so much on my plate. I don't have time for this. How many times have you said that to yourself? So as she continued this process, I said, don't give up. Be consistent. Be um, persistent. Be disciplined. And have an experiment with yourself. Put something on your calendar and do it for 30 days. Do it for 60 days. And then reevaluate. Don't reevaluate after the first time because... Man, that data is screwed up. Be consistent with it long enough for it to even out and then say, let's see if this works. Let's ride it out. Let's test it. Let's challenge it. Hey, I know it's annoying when people interrupt their podcast with an advertisement midway through, but I'm doing it for good reason. I'm curious. 
Are you ready to discover what your life would look like if failure and fear didn't exist? Understanding how to co-create with these uncomfortable emotions has transformed how I show up as a mother, a wife, a friend, a business owner, and a human being. Working as much or as little as I desire. Living with a whole heart. Healthier than I've ever been while being more present with my children and not missing out on their childhoods. And I want you to experience this too, which is why I created Alive. It's an intimate experience for high achieving women who want to attract more time, money, and energy in their lives without the exhausting hustle or overwhelm. If 2020 includes getting uncomfortable and up leveling your personal development and professional game, come join us Feb- February 6th and 7th in Detroit, Michigan for this unique experience. And when you register on or before December 24th, you will gain access to a two-hour online workshop. It's live. I'm going to show you the step-by-step strategy and show you how to discover to find the time for you and still accomplish everything you want this year. For details on this bonus, travel, accommodations, and details of the day of the event, check out heatherchauvin.com forward slash alive. That's Heather Chauvin. C H A U V I N dot com forward slash alive. And if you have a personal question before registering, just simply fill out the contact form on that page. How would you show up differently, both personally and professionally, if you decided that success and feeling good on your own terms was the only option? Think about it. The choice is yours. I look forward to meeting you. Heather Chauvin dot com forward slash alive. So after a few times, she said, Heather, I came back into work and I felt more focused. I just, I felt lighter. And I noticed the kids changed their energy too. The first time they were really afraid and they were like, mom, 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 where are you going? And now they're like, okay, we'll see you later. I'm like, hmm, interesting. So I showed her a great visual and I had a cup. So I want you to visualize a cup and the cup that I was showing her was like a glass. It was a glass Mason jar and it was empty at the time. But I said, imagine this cup was full of coffee. So you have a Mason jar full of coffee. You don't know why you'd put coffee in a Mason jar. Well, I guess you could, but you probably burn your hands or something. It might crack. But anyways, you have a, maybe it's cold brew. I don't know. Let's just pretend it's a dark substance in a clear jar. But you want to put water in this cup. So what are you going to do? There's two ways you can do this. You are either going to take that cup and dump it out, which is going to be pretty intense, right? It's like an instant decluttering. You're like, I'm just going to take the coffee and dump it out here. Like quick, you get it out within, I don't know, three seconds. The second way to take the coffee out of the, out of the jar and put the water in is to actually put the water on top of the coffee. You might need more water, but what's going to happen is the water is going to, with the force, it's going to go to the bottom of the cup and push the coffee out. Especially if you're doing it with force, right? If you're doing it from, um, Like I could visualize myself doing this in a kitchen sink, which maybe you have like a more powerful hose and you're trying to put water and it's like, it's like pushing it down to the bottom and then all of the coffee is just coming out. It's bubbling out, it's bubbling out, bubbling out. And you just keep putting that shit in there until the coffee's gone and you're looking at your cup and it's a clear substance. It's a clear liquid. You now have your cup full of water. Awesome. Awesome. What does this mean for life? What does this mean for our bodies? Think about how much shit we've put into our, our being, our mind, our body, our soul, the lack of boundaries we've had, how we've let people disrespect us, how we've literally shoved down our dreams, our desires, how we kept putting ourselves off, not even on the to-do list anymore. And so you're so far gone. Maybe. I don't know. I definitely don't feel that way anymore. Maybe you're like, Heather, I am a clear cup of water. The most 
tasteful mineral spring water you can find. I don't know. But I guarantee you, your cup was not always full of water. You had to keep aggressively taking consistent action to say, I want water in this cup. I want water in this cup, which can mean I want joy in my body. I want joy in my life. I want to feel fun. I want to feel energized. I'm going to do fun and energizing things. And so every time she decided to put something else in her cup, every time she decided to go to the beach, she was filling herself up. But when we decide to fill ourselves up, what happens is all of our shit comes up. The fear, the guilt, the shame, the overwhelm, it gets worse before it gets better. Because everything that was in the bottom of that cup is rising to the surface. And then when we see it, it feels gross. It feels overwhelming. And when you're not used to feeling, you won't know what to do when your fear gets louder. You won't know what to do when your shame gets louder. You will not know what to do when the guilt that you've been hiding by trying to be a people pleaser consumes you. But here's the thing. You and I both know that if you feed a houseplant coffee, it's going to die eventually. And I'm representing coffee as negative muck, okay? But you and I both know that you can love coffee. It's okay. So in this scenario, I'm just painting coffee as the negative because it's dark and water as the light because it's clear. So stay with me. So I'm not saying that coffee is negative. But I remember I actually did this in like kindergarten, We had a, and yes, I can remember what I did in kindergarten. We had um, like a science experiment. Maybe it wasn't kindergarten. Maybe it was grade two or three. But we had a science experiment where we put a plant in a closet, didn't give it any light, and actually in a plastic bag, and we had it in like a moist paper towel. And moist, that's a gross word. But anyways, we had it in a wet paper towel, in a plastic bag, in the closet, And, um, and then there was like one where, you know, you plant, you have it near the sun or near the window and you put water in it. And then you have another one in the closet. That's a normal plant, but you're just not giving it any light. And then there's one you're drinking, you're giving it pop. So all these things and you watch how it grows or it doesn't grow. So why do we not believe that we are not like plants? We're not like nature, right? So If you constantly put coffee into your body, if you constantly put negative shit into your body, if you're constantly depriving yourself of the basic human needs, like basic, basic, which is water and sunlight, basic, you will die. But here's the beauty. Your body is resilient. You are resilient. You can bounce back. So your body hangs on and it's like, it's okay. I know you're not feeding me, but you know what happens to your soul? It dies. Your soul dies and it will try to leave your body as well. Mine did. And when it tries to leave your body, it's like, fuck you. You're not going to feed me. I'm just going to leave this body and I'm going to go find someone else who's going to take better care of me. And you think I'm joking, but I'm not. We know we need to eat our vegetables. We know we need to drink our water. We know that movement is really good for us. We know these things, and yet we have a hard time with the basic human needs. And then when we get to the next level of things that we can't see, things that people don't talk about and that we didn't learn growing up, is that quality of relationship equals quality of life. Boundaries equals health there's things that you can't tangibly see, but you can, you can feel. And when you start to put more water, more light, more positivity, more beauty in your life, more experiences that feel in alignment with how you want to feel, you become what you desire. 
But I'm telling you right now, you don't just go to Starbucks and order an overpriced cup of water. You don't just go to wherever and fill your cup once and stand there and go, oh, I'm good for now. It is a constant commitment. It is not a one-size quick fix. You got to show up every day in every moment. So I have a challenge for you. And I know maybe 1% of you will actually complete this challenge because you're too busy, you're not listening, you didn't even think about it. I challenge you, I challenge you to think about what I just said and ask yourself if you are committed to doing the work. Are you committed to doing the work in 2020 to start becoming? If you are, I want you to go to Instagram. Go to mom is in control. You can find me. I'm sure if you look up my name, you can find me too, but it's mom is in control. I want you to send me a DM, which means direct message. So at the top, you'll see my page and then it will say message, click on message. And I want you to simply write committed. That's all committed. That shows me that you are committed to doing the work. You so got this. Remember, you just got to keep pouring. Eventually, you will feel it. According to a study published on Fast Company, conducted at the University of Kansas, women are burning out at an alarming rate, even before having children. And that number rises with the additional responsibility of raising a family. And the gap between ambition and putting themselves in a position for promotion isn't going anywhere. Why, you ask? The world needs more empowered mothers, women who are willing to unlearn everything that they've been taught, women who are courageous enough to feel good and not feel guilty for it. I am living proof that you can feel alive, energized, peaceful, and put yourself on your own damn to-do list and make an even bigger impact in your children's lives and those around you. I want to show you how to think, how to act, how to behave, so you can step into that version of you that has been screaming for your attention. And the best part is, all you have to do is take the next step and invest two minutes of your time and book a complimentary call with someone on my team to see if my community and coaching is the right fit for your big vision. The relationships you desire, the money, time, and energy that you know deep down you are capable of creating. So head on over to heatherchauvin.com forward slash let's talk. That's Heather Chauvin, C-H-A-U-V-I-N dot com forward slash let's talk. L-E-T-S-T-A-L-K. And take the next step in the right direction. You are here Because you were born to make a difference. Taking a stand for how you feel means you are taking a stand for how your children show up as adults. You've got this. Let's go.